Old Jenny Wren squawking from the we got a little gourd uh, birdhouse up there on the back deck and she's inside there with her young ones and when you come out here she squawks up the storm every morning she's singing like crazy coming out to check the garden this morning it's a uh, kind of overcast damp you can feel like a cool mist coming down kind of a cool day for the beginning of June wanted to check the garden and it's really exploding here these tomatoes I gauge them by the rungs on these baskets and just a couple days ago they were just barely to the first rung there and now it's halfway up to the second rung so the tomatoes are doing fabulous the zucchinis are getting huge I got squash, cucumbers down there doing well, and look at all the sunflowers that came up this year. So, looking good, looking really good. I think it really liked the hot weather. It's been a couple days, it's been, you know, in the 80s, so like that. And then I've got some eggplant here. Let's see, one, two, three, four. That thing there, I think, is another sunflower, so I left it. Uh, but hopefully we'll have tomatoes pretty soon. Now you may have been expecting a uh, Ohio Bike Week video today, seeing that I was there yesterday, and uh, I just don't. If I if I do have footage of that to edit, I'll put it together, and I should be able to post that. Uh, Thursday but uh, being that I was at the bike week all day yesterday um, I don't have time to do all the editing and the uploading so today oh boy look at all the iris and a bumper crop of iris this year these ones were from my dad uh, he had them on his property. Oh, my herb garden is a mess. I haven't touched it this year, but I got a peony there, which is nice because we haven't had peonies in a long time. For some reason, they didn't bloom. So now we got a peony blooming there. Everything's pretty wet. So I'm running the show here by myself today. My wife is in the hospital. You know, we both, over a week ago, about a week and a half ago, we both came down with this cold. Mine lasted about a week. Pretty miserable feeling, you know. The congestion, the runny nose, blowing snot. It, it just a real miserable cold. No fever or anything like that. Just a common cold. And... Uh, I got over it, but in her compromised situation with the cancer, she couldn't get over it. She just kept getting worse and worse. So yesterday, yesterday I did the grocery shopping for her. She stayed home. She wasn't feeling up to uh, going. To the grocery store and uh, when I came home she says uh, I don't feel very good at all and I said well I should probably take you to the uh, emergency at least get you up to the hospital where somebody can take a look at you because I didn't want her getting pneumonia or anything so I took her up there and uh, they checked her over from head to toe took x-rays uh, took blood work, did all kinds of stuff, and they realized that she's pretty sick, so they said, well, we're admitting her, and and kept her there, and she's still there today. So, as I am filming this right now, it's a little behind from where you're watching it. So, today is uh, Thursday in my world. <laughs> I haven't even gone on the bike run yet, uh, but when I do, 
I will try to get some good footage. Now, here's the, th here's the deal with that. I'm going to be riding my bike, and I don't want to be doing a lot of filming while I am riding. So I think I'm going to skip the riding part. Um, but I may be able to get some of the guys that showed up to ride with me. And when we get there, you know, we'll show some of the festivities or whatever. <laughs> As some of my biker friends said, uh, you don't want to go there, man. It's all yuppies and posers. I said, oh, well, I'll fit right in then. <laughs> no. I expect they're, they were just, you know, jerking my chain a little bit, but... Uh, I don't believe that at all. I mean, I'm sure there's a pretty good uh, mix of folks there, both hardcore and probably some yuppie crowd. I don't know. I've never been to Ohio Bike Week, so it'll be interesting. I think the most interesting part for me, though, will be meeting up with some of you guys who have said you're going to ride up there with me. That'll be the fun part for me. So stick around. Uh, coming up, let's see, this Thursday at 8 o'clock, I should have, I'm not promising anything, but I should be able to edit some bike night, or Ohio, Ohio Bike Week of video footage for you. And we'll see how that goes. You got to remember, these are not live streaming videos. They're usually filmed a day or two before you are actually seeing them film I got all the editing to do and then I got to do the upload and then they're posted the following day uh, you know I took my seat off my back seat and I moved my jacket up here but I'm not sure that I want it there I might put it back where I had it I don't know I can't make up my mind it's just aesthetics at this point. It doesn't really mean anything, but it is what it is. Other than that, she's all ready to roll. Check the tires. Check the oil. She's ready to go. Obviously, won't be riding today because I, I, you know, it's, it's rainy and crappy outside. And I've got to run up to the hospital. I had to pack a bag for my wife. Of course, when we went up there, she went up there with nothing. And uh, so now she's uh, texting me with a, a whole laundry list of things she wants me to bring with me when I go up to the hospital. You know, extra clothes and, and some of her personal uh, items. So I got to get in the house and put all that together. I took care of the basic chores, you know, fed the cats and all of that stuff. Uh, so... I gotta wrap up things here and then I gotta head into town and hook up with my wife and hopefully she's feeling a lot better today and hopefully they'll release her today maybe tomorrow I sure hope all right kids thanks for watching uh, give the video a thumbs up if you haven't yet please subscribe to our videos we'd love to have you along for this ride until next time cats we'll catch you later